all right everyone here we are with ticker symbol and ok nokia and before we jump into this chart i want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors welcome to my channel invest for tomorrow and to all my subscribers welcome back and let's jump into this chart so nokia had a dramatic drop here we saw that earlier last week it was starting to recover but they were not able to break through the 50-day moving average the bulls struggled with that and here we are seeing the bears break through the support and we have some important numbers to see for tomorrow as always keep in mind 321 down here at that 322 range 321 give or take and we're going to look at our new support how close it is to that and if it breaks through it then obviously 321 322 range is important and pay close attention to how it breaks away from those numbers as well let's go ahead and look at our new resistance here this is a very narrow stretch within the last couple of hours and this tug of war is going to be interesting for tomorrow so the 50-day moving average is 333 if the bulls can break through that they got back into bullish territory but currently the bears are holding them down and keeping them below the 50-day moving average so we're in bearish territory so for the bulls to even get closer to it and start their goal to get closer and break through it they need to break through this resistance level that was reached here as this started to fall and level off here in the last couple of hours and that's 329 the bulls need to turn 329 into a support pull away from it reach newer highs and new resistance levels to get closer to the 50-day moving average and then get back into bullish territory but their first step before all of that is breaking through 329 turning that into a support and starting to pull away from it significantly to go ahead and hit new highs and new resistance levels on the other hand we have what the bears want this is the lowest point reached in this bearish run here after this slight bullish recovery and that is 323 if 323 is broken through it is significant because it's very close to the lowest points reached previously here at 321 322 and it was touched twice today touched twice so it is very important to keep in mind paying close attention to this stock how it reacts if it breaks through 323 it's pulling further away from the 50-day moving average if the bears accomplish that and how quickly is this moving down to newer lows or are the bulls trying to reappear to bring this back up those are some significant signs to pay close attention to as how this behaves if it breaks through support because we're already in bearish territory and breaking through support is going to bring this down to newer lows and new support levels as always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit that like button to let me know you watched this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video and I go into detail about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising up several points on scheduled dates what happens on those scheduled dates which are the dates that i circled here on the chart and we're going to see for ourselves well the s p 500 index rises up several points and by doing so they're bringing up several ticker symbols not all of them but most of them up with them and these ticker symbols are rising up 30 cents to three dollars per share and i know it doesn't sound like a lot but per share that does add up and one thing i am really big on is profits if you put a dollar into the market and you get out with two dollars you've made profits you've done what the whole purpose of being in the market is for to maximize profits and minimize losses and with the federal reserve pumping the markets on these scheduled dates bringing the s p 500 index up also brings up individual ticker symbols with them and again 30 cents to three dollars may not sound like a lot of profit per share but that does add up and like i say profits are profits so we're going to look here at some of the dates so that you guys can see what i talk about in the video and it's a weekly series i wouldn't want you guys to miss out on it definitely click on the video as it pops up at the end of the video and check it out but here we are with one of the first pumps in the scheduled dates pump so the first one since the last time that they had released this they released this on september 14th and the next one's coming up on october 14th which is like a week from now and on the 15th they scheduled it and as you can see this is the 14th and the 15th is this big green bar and it rose up so on the 14th we were at around 3384 
and it rose up to 3420. I mean, that's 40 points risen on the S&P 500 index, and that's creating that catalyst for individual ticker symbols to rise up 30 cents to $3. We're gonna look at another one here, and the next one was on September 22nd. And here we are on the 21st after falling from that last pump and the market had been falling. And you could see that there is volatility on every single day of the market before the dates of the pumps. But on the dates of the pumps are the days that the most green happens for the most part, not every time, but for the most part. But on the 21st, which was a Monday, it was rising up and it rose up to this point here. And the next one was the 22nd so this is the last 21st candlestick and this is the first 22nd candlestick and we were at 3270 this one rose up all the way up here to this point right here this was the last 22nd candlestick to 3319 i mean if we go back we were at 3270 3319 that's almost 50 point jump here for the s p 500 index and again individual ticker symbols rose up with it and it created that catalyst a little bit before the anticipation and on that date it rose up now on this next pump which was a little bit different there was a catalyst formed beforehand and it rose up to these highs on the 28th of about 33.59 it actually dipped on the date of the next pump which we see it here which was on the 29th of september and the next one was on the 6th which just happened yesterday and it actually slightly dipped now not every time is these pumps going to rise up the market like we've seen here by a lot of points but it still rises it back up or levels it off from hitting newer lows and leveling off the market itself because if we look at the previous notes that i did beforehand it was actually rising up with it the volatility was there but you were able to buy like for example how we bought here on the 15th and it rose up well it's been falling and then very volatile here up and down beforehand you can buy at the beginning of the schedule pump dates and hold a couple weeks and ride out several pumps and you were going on your way up but right now even as the market's going down it's a great opportunity to take advantage of the fact that the federal reserve is pumping the markets and there's an opportunity to make profits so here we are on the 29th and it fell to lows of 33.28 and it rose up to these highs here of 33.49. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but that's still a 20 point jump after dipping and recovering. And then it continued to work its way up to newer highs. Now here on the 6th, which on the 5th, it started to rise. It leveled off. This is the last candlestick of the 5th coming up right now. And we're about to see it here. Yes, this is the last candlestick of the 5th and it rose up. And all the way to the last candlestick of the six, it rose up another 20 points. I mean, we're down here and it ended up around here. So right now, something I'm noticing is that these pumps are creating less of an effect on the market, but it's creating that upward direction from falling to newer lows, but it's still having the market rise up. And even though the S&P 500 index is rising several points, there are individual ticker symbols rising up, like I said, 30 cents to $3. Check out the video. I go into more detail. I don't want you guys to miss out on this great information. Click on it. And thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.